Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and for those that watched my videos from yesterday, it will come as no surprise that I chose to use the brand new Picture Book T-Rex Wafer Die from Simon Says Stamps Friendly Frolic Release for my card for the blog hop today. I will get into the blog hop more on my actual blog, but yes had to use him. He was at the top of my pile of products and just begging to be used on a card. So I die cut him from some Distress watercolor paper and then I pulled out the Simon Says Stamp Balloons wafer die set and die cut the smallest balloon also from Distress watercolor paper. And then while I was at it, I am inking up stamps from the Birthday Palooza stamp set and I'm um, stamping them onto just random scraps of the same Distress watercolor paper. Just stamping them with clear embossing ink and then embossing them with Simon's Detail White embossing powder. Thought I might as well get all of my Distress watercolor paper pieces ready to go because I plan on doing a whole bunch of ink blending and shockingly I'm not using um, Distress Oxide inks today. I decided to use just the regular Distress inks. Just to switch things up a, get, a bit, basically. <clears throat> so I have all my little pieces here of um, die cut distress watercolor paper. And I took some purple tape, any low tack tape would work, but I have it sticky side up. And then I just tape it to my glass mat with washi tape, you can use the same tape, whatever works. But that just gives me something to, a way to hold these pieces so I'm not using my fingers because I want to sponge the complete die cut piece and um, it, it fingerprints transfer like immediately when you're using pretty much any dye ink, let alone distress inks, especially on the distress watercolor paper because you know it takes a little while to dry. So having something to hold those in place while I sponge makes my life a whole lot easier. So the body of my little T-Rex I sponged with Lucky Clover ink and his little tummy I sponged with Crushed Olive ink and then his little like spines, whatever you want to call them, um, I used peacock feathers. The funny thing was I was really inspired by the new sequin mix that was part of this release that's the Dino one. I actually have it still sitting right here. So yeah, the Dynamite sequins are what kind of inspired, the, started to inspire the colors and then I didn't end up using them on the card. But I started with that and then I wanted to bring in more color. So for the balloons, I started with Wilted Violet and then I ended up die cutting two more balloons from the Distress Watercolor Paper and I used Abandoned Coral and then I'm gonna use Mustard Seed on the remaining one. And then for the Heat Embossed Happy Word, I used Abandoned Coral on the bottom part of the word. And then I'm going to use the Mustard Seed on the top and that white heat embossing is gonna resist the ink. So that nice shiny white outline and then the colors, you know, all blended together. And then for the word um, party that I'm gonna use on the inside of the card, I started with the mustard seed ink on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take the peacock feathers ink and, or I start well, with a top. And then I'm gonna use peacock feathers along the bottom and kind of blend those together just to get a nice little gradient and to really like pull in the color. So after I had done all of my sponging, I had thought about, you know, splattering everything with water and getting a good, you know, distress splatter ink and water look going. But I decided just to keep the color. I really like how everything was just really smooth. The blend went so nicely on these and it just worked and I was happy with it. So instead of doing that, I die cut those um, words that I had heat embossed with their coordinating wafer dies. And now I'm going to start assembling my little T-Rex. And I, I, I seriously, I just looking at him, it makes me smile. This is definitely my favorite out of this entire release. He, I wanted to die cut many of him. I plan on, I actually plan on die cutting a ton of him and I'm going to like, I don't know, create a little banner or something I can hang in my studio because I just think he's adorable. I love his derpy little grin. <laughs> so anywho, adhered all the pieces and then for his little tummy and arm, because I'm not adhering this directly to my project, I and I've shown this in many videos where I'm making these little picture book characters, I like to use just little pieces of copy paper. And with this, I found the easiest thing was just, I just cut down a little small piece of copy paper. I adhered it to the back of my little T-Rex. And then that gave me a place to adhere his little tummy. And then I can adhere his little arm 
And then I just trim off the excess bits of the copy paper with my little cutter B scissors. And then he's good to go. And I can, you know, what I'm going to do with him is pop him up with foam tape, which is what I do most of the time when I'm creating my little characters like this. So this just gives me the flexibility to put them wherever I want. So after I've adhered everything, I took my um, white gel pen and added a bunch of little dots and highlights and whatnot just to give him a little bit more character. And after I did that with him, I took the gel pen and also added highlights to all three of these balloons just to, again, give that little extra bit of character to those. So I did that and then I had run some white cardstock through my die cut machine with the new diamond pattern wafer die. So it creates that great panel there. I thought that would just be a nice way to add a bit of texture and I did it in white cardstock because I didn't want to distract from my adorable little dinosaur. And then I had taped the three balloons together with just some scotch tape and I'd also taped some black string to them. So I've got my balloons all together in a little cluster and then they've got the strings coming out and I started to tie a knot and then I stopped myself because I thought it would be really cute. His little arm, the little T-Rex arm that's sticking out, I thought that would be just absolutely adorable to have him holding the balloons. So I popped foam tape on the sentiments and popped them onto that panel and then I popped foam tape on the back of my little dinosaur and then I'm going to put foam tape on the back of these balloons and then once the balloons are in place I can take that little loop I had started to create in the balloon strings and just loop it around his little arm and then just really carefully pull that tight and then I can trim off the excess of the string there and he's holding his little bunch of balloons I yeah yeah totally this just this was such a fun card to make. So after I've got everything like adhered in place, he needs googly eyes. That's just a given. So I wasn't sure what size I wanted, but I went with the bigger ones. So these are five millimeter googly eyes. And again, just love. So um, adhere those into place with just multimedia matte. I just kind of go around the opening where the eyes are since these are large enough to completely cover that. And then just press those into place and then, you know, let that glue completely dry. So once I have that dry, I used little tiny foam squares on the back of this panel. This actually didn't take very long at all. Um, put those in between all the little spaces because I wanted to pop this up again on my card base. I really like that texture it gives by popping it up with foam tape. Just, oh, I just love it. So the white on white is great, but then having it popped up, it just gives it that extra dimension. So pop that on there with the foam tape and then I adhered the remaining sentiments on the inside of the card with my multimedia matte adhesive. And then as a final bit of embellishment, like I said, I didn't end up using the dynamite sequins. I ended up using the Simon Says Stamp Crystal Fusion sequins, which have been a favorite of mine for ever now. I actually need to get more. I'm almost out of them. So I kind of sprinkled those around because the colors went so well with the colors I'd used on the little T-Rex and the balloons and whatnot. So I'm just going to adhere those into place with uh, my multimedia matte adhesive and that is going to finish off this fun little birthday card. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is part of a blog hop. This is actually day two of blog hops for the Simon Says Stamp Friendly Frolic release. I posted a video um, yesterday with uh, the release and review showing all the different products and whatnot. I'll have links to that at the end of this video and then I'll have all the info and the giveaway and whatnot on my blog so you can check that out. It's linked directly below this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!